Safety should be your first concern as you monitor a lake or stream. No data is worth risking your personal safety, and the Pollution Control Agency doesn't want you to endanger your health or life doing this work. Let someone know your itinerary, where you are going, and when you'll be back. Then, if you have trouble, another person knows where to start looking for you. If possible, take along someone else when you monitor, in case you should need help. And don't go out on a lake or near a stream during dangerous weather conditions. If there is ever any question about your safety, then only record visual observations from a safe location. When you go out onto the water to take lake samples, make sure that you are following all the boat and water safety regulations described in the Minnesota Boating Guide. Be sure to wear your personal flotation device, your life vest. Accidents can happen quickly at any time, and without a life vest, even an exceptional swimmer can drown. If you are doing advanced lake monitoring, then you'll be using sulfuric acid to preserve samples. This can be dangerous if you swallow the acid or inhale mist from it. You can also be seriously injured if you get acid in your eyes, on your skin, or on your clothes. You should read the instructions in the training manual for how to treat an accidental exposure to sulfuric acid, and then make sure that your family or a neighbor has read them too. If you're injured, someone else may need to help you. Safety should also be your first priority if you are doing stream monitoring. Streams are constantly changing, which increases the chance of an accident. Don't ever enter fast water or a stream that's at high flow after a rainstorm or spring snowmelt. These situations can be particularly dangerous. When you sample a stream from a bridge, you need to protect yourself from traffic. Wear bright colored clothing or an orange safety vest so you will be seen by oncoming trucks or cars as you do your sampling.